Our second problem solving strategy is guess and test. This is appropriate to use if there's a limited number of solutions to test. It also can help you just gain a better understanding of the problem. It's also good to use if you have a good idea of what the solution might be, or if you can systematically try all the possible solutions. Hopefully there's not too many in that case. Or if you have done something else first and narrowed down your choices, it would be good to use guess and test. Or if you just don't know what to do, you can just start guessing. So let's look at this example where we have six coins arranged in a triangle. And we want to re rearrange by moving only two coins so that we basically flip the triangle upside down. So you could just start playing with these coins and moving them around. One of the things that I notice when I look at it is this middle row, and I think it stands out because there's an arrow. But the middle row is the same. There's two coins in each. So the main thing that changes is now there's only one coin on the bottom and three on top, so it could be pretty simply done if we just moved our corner coins up to the top. And that would do it. 